Yo, what is going on guys? And so here and today, I'll be talking about everything that you need to know about Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise coming to the Switch in November for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, we all saw this DLC get revealed in the Nintendo Direct for Animal Crossing and we saw a lot of it and they showed us a lot of it. About 10 minutes was spent on it, but we need to know. What did we miss? What exactly is there? And for those who didn't quite understand it, I am here to explain it to all of you guys today in full depth. I will not miss one thing and you will totally understand it by the end of the video. And so yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into it. But guys, before we actually do get into this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel because I keep you guys updated with everything in the Animal Cross New Horizons community with leaks, data mines, new updates, news, all that kind of stuff. And also, like the video if you are excited. Let's go ahead and let's get into the video. So, to start, the DLC comes out on November 5th, which is a Friday, and that is when the update comes out, the Amiibo cards release, everything happens on one day. So that is a Friday, as I said. And so, once you purchase the DLC, and keep in mind that the DLC goes out for pre-order on October 29th, which is the week before, when you purchase the DLC, you can go up to Orville, and he will take you to work, aka the Happy Home Academy, which is where the DLC is. Now. You will meet two new NPCs there, Nico and Wardell. They are, they were just introduced with the Direct. We've never seen them before, and they will be helping out with this academy. Now, to keep it simple, with this DLC, you can make villagers their dream home. It can be any villager, even if you don't have them. There are tons of ways to decorate, like using partitions you, uh, to split up the room. You can use different counter heights, pillars to support the ceiling all that kind of stuff and you can also use those things on your main island you can bring those back home with you and use it in your house villagers houses it's great but you do need the dlc to actually be able to bring them back to your island for those who do not buy the dlc you cannot decorate with partitions and all that kind of stuff so villagers can actually also live together on this dlc they, they can be roommates and live together. You can get two villagers together. Well, it may be more, but we have to wait until that's discovered and revealed to us. But as we saw in the trailer, you can have two villagers live together. Now, we have to wait to find out to see if we can do more villagers together. But if you do want to design a certain villager's home, you can actually use your amiibo cards. Now, you can go to the amiibo phone that is in the academy, scan an amiibo card, and you can decorate their home. They'll be like, yeah, I want my home decorated. Just you know, you call them with the amiibo and you can decorate their home for sure. Now, let's go into the actual kind of, let's deep dive in, into the game and let's go over what it's actually like designing all these homes. So when you're designing a resident's house, you can change the time of day and weather. So let's say that you're designing maybe maple and you want it to be evening time. You can certainly do that even if it is 6 a.m. in the morning. You can for sure do that. And you can also change the weather. If you, if you want it to be evening and rainy, you can for sure do that. And with this Happy Home Designer, it's all about designing. So they've added some new features. You can resize rooms anywhere from 4 to 10 tiles wide to 4 to 10 tiles long. You can resize the rooms, as you can see on screen. And that's actually very, very great because you can change up the size of the room. And I think that it would help decorating a ton. And then along with that, you can actually change the lighting, which acts as LED lights, but without the LED lights, just like the ones that you hang on your wall. It's kind of just like that. It changes the entire color of the room, but they're actually LED light bulbs. And it changes the room color, the overall vibe, and the mood of the room. It's good for, like, disco rooms, like, you know, party rooms. It's great to change up the lighting. Or, you know, even, like, a bathroom. If, if you want to be kind of fancy, you can do that as well. But, yeah. So, that is actually cool. The lighting change is probably one of my favorite features that they, actually, that, that, that they added to this whole designing thing. And then, also, soundscapes do exist. Now, a soundscape is... Um, a sound effect for a room. So let's say that I made a beach room for, I don't know, O'Hare. A beach room for O'Hare. I want there to be beach sound effects. I can add a beach soundscape or an ocean soundscape. And once you enter that room, it'll sound like there is a beach kind of sound effect. So like maybe an, an ocean or, you know, whatever. It'll sound like a beach, a nice little breeze, all that kind of stuff. It sounds like a beach. And so soundscapes just add the extra effect to the room. So... 
that's very cool, honestly. I like soundscapes. They were in the original game on the 3DS for Happy Home Designer, and that's great to see it come back. And then, apart from Villagers Homes, you can polish furniture. Now, polishing furniture, uh, the point of this is, so you kind of rub it off, you kind of clean it up, and then it gets all sparkly. And the point is, you can see some furniture has some effects. So, for example, as we saw in the trailer, a flower bed, you could see some little butterflies just fly around it. It's so cool, and if you polish furniture, you can see it have a little effect. Although, it does not work for every piece of furniture, we don't think. Um, you can do that for some. So, that's cool. We didn't we did not used to have that in the past game. So it's cool to see that new feature. But apart from designing homes in, in specific, you can design facilities for Lottie. Now, some facilities include a school, a hospital, a restaurant, and we could see more, but that's all we got a look at. So just those three. Although in the past game, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, which this is a spin-off of, or not a spin-off, but kind of the sequel to it. Uh, there was, I believe there was a concert hall and there were some other buildings, but that's all that we got shown to us. Just the restaurant, the hospital, and the school. So hopefully there are more than that. But, but yeah, with that, I think that would be cool to just kind of get a break from decorating houses. It'd be cool to decorate the school and everything. So that's going to be nice. And to end all this off, to end off what you can do, we have the new Nook Phone app called Happy Home Network where you can view other players' designs for inspiration. So let's say someone in Japan made a really cool design for Fret. I could look at it, I could scroll through and look at it, and then see it and think that's really cool. And I, you can actually visit them. You can visit the designs in person and get inspiration for your own design. So I think that that's very amazing. And then you can feel free to follow creators that you think are amazing. So let's say I saw this person's design. I could follow them and see more of, the, of their designs. So that's cool. And then after all this hard work that you put in to designing these places for Lottie, you can actually get paid in Pokey. And Pokey is just a currency. It's similar to Bells, but it can only be used in the DLC mode at the Academy. So in the Academy, they will have items for you to purchase with the, the currency Pokey. And those are items that are not available on the main island, so it only is with the DLC and can only be bought with Pokey. You cannot use any bells. So Pokey only, and you have to work for the Pokey. So I think that that's a cool little mechanic where you have to work to get the items and not just get bells. So that's cool. And after you work, it, it depends on how much work you do is how much Pokey you actually get to put towards those items. So very cool. And then once you finish Happy Home Paradise for the day, once you've played enough, and then you're like, okay... I'm done for the day, let's go back to the main island and just chill and decorate and all that kind of stuff. You can actually take the things back that you got. So, partitions, you can take those back and use them in your house. Soundscapes, same thing. Pillars, same thing. Different level counters, same thing. All those from the DLC can come back to your island with you. And then, not only that, with the DLC, and the DLC only, I believe, you can actually remodel villagers' houses. So let's say Hamlet is my starter. He is. And he still has his basic house. If I want to, I can ask Hamlet from Tom Nook. I can request to remodel a villager's home. And if Hamlet approves, which I, I'm sure that he will because they always approve. If he approves, I can remodel his entire home, use partitions, maybe even add a new room. Who knows? But I think that'd be cool. And once again, if your villager has a basic house or you, or you want to change it up, add a certain song in their house, you can certainly do that with remodeling their home. Now, now that's very cool. But you may be thinking, all right, Max, you've convinced me to buy the DLC. How much is it and where do I get it? So the DLC is $24.99 US, £22.49, and €24.99. So I think for what you get, it's a, it's a good deal. And also, the Happy Home Designer game for the 3DS costed $40 and it's on the 3DS. Just saying... I think 25 is worth it. And this is not a brand new game. It does add on to New Horizons. DLC is downloadable content. So it downloads into New Horizons. And you can just launch New Horizons as soon as you bought it. And you can play it right from there. But yeah. Or if you do not want to just buy it straight up. You can actually get it with a Switch Online bundle for $50 a year. And, it, and that includes Nintendo 64 games, Sega Genesis games, and Happy Home Paradise all in one for $50 a year. If you want to just do that, honestly, for what you get, um, I would say it's, 
The individual one isn't worth it, but the family plan, which includes eight members, is $80. Now, $80 is expensive. It is. But for l let me break it down for you. What you get is you get Happy Home Designer, Sega Genesis games, Nintendo 64, and Switch Online for $80 for eight different Switches. So the reason why I think it's worth it is because if you get eight of your friends that all have Switch and you all share one family plan, that's $10 a year for everybody, plus Happy Home Designer, plus Genesis, plus 64 games, plus online. So I think if you do that and get some friends and buddies to, you know, go in with it, it's worth it. But otherwise, I would just buy the DLC straight up. Um, if you if you don't want to get all eight friends together and do that, I'd, I'll just buy it straight up. I'm going to buy it straight up, and I would recommend to buy it just straight up from the eShop. Pre-orders go on sale Friday, October 29th, and then the game releases November 5th at midnight, I would assume. Now, here's my thing, and here's a little theory for those who actually mm. stuck around the entire video. Here's a theory. If you're here, comment down below the word theory. I want to know who's here. If this DLC comes out at 12 a.m. midnight, which is expected, if it comes out at 12 a.m., the DLC cannot come out before the actual 2.0 update comes out. I'm thinking the update, the big update will come out at 10 p.m. Thursday night. I think that's what's going to happen. Because that'll happen at 10 p.m. The update will come out. And then at 12 a.m. We creep up to 12 a.m. And the DLC actually comes out. That's my theory. And hopefully that is correct. Because that'd be nice. And I'm going to stream on November 5th or the night of the 5th. I don't know for sure yet. Whatever the update comes out right away, I'm going to stream. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, guys, that is all for the video today. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to subscribe because I post Animal Crossing content every single day and keep you guys updated with everything in the Animal Crossing New Horizons community. And also like the video if this did help you understand Happy Home Paradise a little bit more or fully. I'd love to hear if this helped you out and comment down below what part of the DLC are you most excited for? And will you be buying the DLC? I'd love to hear what you guys think. And yeah, I love you guys all. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video or live stream. Peace.